Jane Sabalski. Let's get it going tonight. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. Been fired up for this one. The puck is dropped. Let's go. Can't connect on the pass. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Looking for space inside the D zone. That pass doesn't go. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Feeds it up ahead. The Yellow Jackets will play it from the defensive zone. To his teammate. Score! work here as they move it around. The opening is for the guy in the low slot. But he's by himself, and he's able to one-time at home. Vancouver's won the draw. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Moves with the puck in the corner. Couldn't complete the pass. And they won't connect on that one. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, brings it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. Edmonton's close, but they can't get close enough. That shot hits the goal post and stays out. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Massive collision in the open ice. Puck grabbed by Kachuk. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Grabs the puck at center. Sends the pass over. Flurry stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to Vaji Holahi. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Feeds the puck over to Kachuk. Receives the pass. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Oh, what a save in front. She gets across so quickly, post to post to make the save. His presence known on the ice. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Takes a shot. Blocked in traffic. Scores! That's back to back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. This play doesn't happen without the accurate passing that has to go into the play before it ends up in the net. What a great play, known for this. And that's the ability to find the open player and then put the puck right on the tape. He scores when it rains and pours. Man, they are just coming out in buckets right now as they get three straight. Really a dominant. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Vancouver's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. And that pass attempt is deflected. Edmonton's got it now. Vancouver's got the puck. Look out, a two-on-one. Edmonton's got the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Unable to reach that one. And look at this. We've got a two-on-one. Scores! Oh, that was nice. In stride, the snapper just beats the goaltender too quick and too accurate. That snapshot while in motion had so much zip on it, guys. His make it snappy zone ability is that quick release, and no one was stopping him there. 
force on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And sends it just out of reach. The Yellow Jackets will play it in their own end. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Here we go, it's a two-on-one. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And he denied that opportunity. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Vajahula, he's taking it from his own end. Oh, and he turns on the burners, and they'll wave off the icing here. I thought that was a gimme icing call, but he was able to beat the defenseman. Oh, off the pipe! There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. It's a chance on the rush, two on one. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Take off, loser. The James, there's the difference between getting by or getting crunched. He's a half a second from a great move instead. He's got a step. Look what Dives I got. Dives in close. Sharp reaction save. Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. It's like he almost deeped himself out. There was nowhere to go with it, and the goalie makes the save. Here's a chance. Makes the save with the trapper. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Yellow Jackets are up 3-1. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And now it's grabbed by Kachuk. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Stopped with ease. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. And they clear that puck. Handles the puck. Vancouver's moving it along the wing. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. More than half the frame has been played here. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. Ying Yang's won the draw in the neutral zone. Just wide. And that puck leaves the zone. Grabs it in his own end. Now he takes it over the line. Edmonton's got the puck on the And he comes up with it. Here's a chance behind the net. Moves it around along the half wall. He got rocked again. He's got to get his head up here. They're going to be carting him off the ice. Takes the pass. Driving right to the front. Scores! The captain comes through! That's a great goal, but it all starts for me with that bouncing, rattling puck that he's able to settle down. Now he's got control, still patient, and puts it away. Quick pass to Kachuk. Ying Yang's got a hole along the wall. That's his second. 
Their line has played really well, James. I like the way they've moved the puck, and finally they're rewarded again. He's got a both. He created that turnover with his truculent zone ability, then went on to score, guys. And we know he loves to play that heavy brand of hockey, and that's a great example of why. On man rush. Skates to the crease, and they can't connect. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Quick pass over to Kachuk. And called for the offside. We'll get a faceoff. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Vancouver's now up by four. The Yellow Jackets win it. Quick feed to Kachuk. Slides it across. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Turns it away on the slap shot. Sit down. That's a big time hit along the wall. It is James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Vancouver's won the draw, and they'll go to work. And now he moves it quickly to Kachuk. One time last. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. Face-off coming up. Lots of time left in this period. Vancouver's put on an excellent display of firepower, leading 5-1. Ying Yang's won the draw. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. And that's picked off. Trying to clear the puck. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Drop and play resumes. Here's a short pass to Badgie Holahi. Dishes it to Flurry. Moves it quickly over to Badgie Holahi. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Broken up in the neutral zone by Flurry. Levels him with the hit. All alone! What a save! He read this deep perfectly, right in front of the puck the whole way. Looks like he picked up a knock here, James, but lots of time. Scores! Oh, you like that! And you can hear the puck fly off his stick. Hey, Carlin, there's your thunderclap right there. It's pounded by the goalie. From the point all the way to the back of the net, guys, he was able to blast home that puck with his thunderclap zone ability. The Yellow Jackets win the faceoff. Stoppage and play offside the call. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Ying Yang's been dominated to this point, trailing by three. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. There's the whistle, we've got an offside. The centermen glide into position. Vancouver's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. A cannon from the point, and a great save. Ying Yang's got it in their own zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. 
And now he moves it to Kachuk. A chance with the 3 on one Makes the save. She read that play perfectly, James. She's across the net to make the save. It's only a game, oh, but you have to be mad. Boards. Here's the scoring chance, 2-1-1. Go! They score! And showing a little signs of life on the ice. They also showed no quit. I mean, they were trailing by three. Now they've closed it a little bit. They've got to get another one to really feel good about themselves. Guys, he can really wire that shot when he's got his feet moving. That quick release is his make it snappy zone ability, and we've seen it already here tonight. And we'll reset things after that icing. Past the halfway mark of this period, Edmonton still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. And a solid job tying up his opponent. And we've got a two-on-one. He scores! Well, don't turn this one off yet. Well, you better not. We're still here. If we're here, That's you right. got to be here, too. Edmonton's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Takes it to the front. Great save from in tight. Oh, that's a good save, James. Excellent positioning to turn it away. Slides it diagonally to Flurry. Here's the pass. And they can't convert to the play. Looks to pass it to Kachuk. The Yellow Jackets move to the offensive zone. Into the corner of the attacking area. Can't connect. You don't even need to look up at that $10 million scoreboard to see that the game is close. You can feel... They score! Sometimes it's just your night. He's got his second goal of the game. This is a good evening for him. Really quick puck movement always helps when you've got the extra man. The defenders just don't catch up to it. It ends up in the net. The Yellow Jackets win possession here in the open ice. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Vajrahula, he's won the draw here in the open ice. Nice dish from the left wing. Oh, the glove save! Where'd that come from? A critical draw here. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. And the shot dies Whoa. in the traffic jam. And they keep the pressure on. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Here's a chance! Penalty shot coming up after the stoppage in play. And here he comes from center. You don't see that very often as the official blows the play dead. The Yellow Jackets win the draw. Cutting to the slot. And that's the hat trick. Listen to this place. And here come the hats. I love this tradition, although I will tell you, they collect the hats up. They used to give them to us, and you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. Guys, you need players who can distribute the puck, and he does it so well. He uses that tape-to-tape -tape zone ability to make those crisp passes and help his teammates score. That was a great example of it on that last play. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. The Yellow Jackets win the draw. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Pass right on the doorstep. Shot in front. He scores! That's the hat trick. Little tweak to the crowd here on the road as he gets in third. An outstanding game so far. You want to use the player in front of the net as a screen if you can. This time it's just about perfect. I don't think the goaltender ever picks it up. Edmonton's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. 
Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Poked away by Fleury. And now he angles it across to Vaji Holahi. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And that's deflected. What about his set to go? crash. No surprise here, James. He's been doing this since about 7 o'clock tonight, time after time. Poked away in the defensive end. And they can't connect. It's in. He scores. Off the skate and into the net. A uh, great bounce offensively. Tough one for the defender as it goes off his foot. It's even worse because that looks like it hurts, too. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Big time stop there. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Can't connect. You try to generate enough chances in a game that eventually you're going to punch through, but you got to get it on the net once you create the chance. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. They say puck possession is the name of the game these days. It certainly was evident tonight. Yeah, it stinks when you don't have the puck. All you do is chase the puck around. You chase the other team around. No matter how hard you try, you can never get your hands on it. Eventually, you run out of energy, and I think that's what happened tonight. And there's a salute to the fans after another victory here in the house. Yeah, look at the way the energy percolates through the building. You got the music going, the fans are saluting the players, and vice versa. It's a cool vibe. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James. Good night.